Hey guys, this is a follow-up video to the video that I made about combining the Prima Marketing Tropicals and Classical sets together into a single palette. And I'll put the link for that video in the, in the bar below. Now what I want to do is I want to fill the remaining palettes that I have, or the remaining pans, with the Daniel Smith watercolor essential so that I can have some of my paints on the go with me. I don't always have to carry the tubes with me. In my other video, I went through and I combined the 24 colors from the two Prima marketing sets into one set where I picked 18 and then these are the the six colors that I ch that I didn't include in that palette. So some of the paint were a little difficult to get out and what I did was I just used a toothpick poked around at it, kind of pulled on the edges a little to loosen the paints up, and now I can just put these aside. If you want, you can keep them. I'm not really going to use those colors. I'm just going to wash these out so that they're totally clean before I put in the Daniel Smith watercolors just so that I don't get any color contamination. I just want to make sure that I get all the color out. And I might even, I might even rinse these out with soap and water just so that I really make sure that they're clean. So this is a really important step. You don't want to skip this step because what's the point of putting your nice watercolors in these pans if they're just going to get contaminated with the other colors. I'm just going to go wash them with soap and water because I just want to make sure that they're super clean and when I come back I will um, fill them with the Daniel Smith color. So I'm back. I've washed out the pans and before I fill them up, I'm actually going to do one other thing, which is I'm going to put a piece of tape on the bottom so I can write the name of the paint colors. I should be doing this with my permanent pen, but I left it at my boyfriend's house. I will have to do it with pencil and then do it with the other pen later. Okay, I realize that I won't be able to see that at all, so instead I'm going to use this Fudenosuke Tombow pen. So now I'm just going to fill up the paint and then I'll put it in my palette. And so what I've learned is that you're supposed to try and fill it in the corners first so that it doesn't separate from the the walls of the palette or of the pan and then do the the edges and then do the middle. And that should hopefully make it so that when it dries, it should hopefully stay attached to the walls. And I'm just going to do that now with all the other colors. I'm just going to give it a few good hard taps to encourage the paint to settle. And so I realized that um, I didn't fill the pans up enough. So I'm actually, I want them to be filled almost all the way. And so I'm just going to go ahead and refill them, but I'm going to focus on the corners. And that used up probably half the uh, tube to fill up one full palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill the other ones as well, all the way. Basically, I'm going to fill from the corners and the edges. I think that I did it wrong with the blue one. It's okay. No harm, no foul. And I'm going to fill it up pretty much the whole way because I want to see how much shrinkage I get with these paints. As you can see, I keep going off camera. It's because I'm taking the paint from the sides of the tubes and putting it in my egg dish. So as you can see, I did that with the other colors. So I've just put the paints to dry in the inside of the palette. For some reason, in my other one, I could fit the half pans going lengthwise in the middle but in this one for some reason it won't let me do it sideways but that's okay i'm gonna put them up here anyway i'm just gonna tap them all one last time before i uh, put it away to dry thank you guys for watching my video i'm just gonna put this away in the palette i'm gonna fold up the palette and put it away to dry so that my cat doesn't get into my paint uh, i might actually put it in my bedroom and leave the lid open so it dries a bit faster it's been about 48 hours and um, I just wanted to show you how the pans have dried. So they're a little, um, they're not wet, but they're kind of like a little gummy feeling. That's my cat. Um, but 
there wasn't that much shrinkage, not nearly as much as I thought there was going to be. Because, like, as you remember, I filled it up basically to the top and let it dry. So the, the shrinkage wasn't that bad. Um, so for me, that's good enough. What you can do is now that they're dry, you can fill it up with the rest of the... Um, paint in your tubes uh, and fill it up all the way to the top but I want to paint today and I want to do it with um, these ones and I don't want to wait for them to dry again uh, that's my video for this time uh, thanks for watching and I hope to talk to you guys again soon bye and I'll let the cat I'll let the cat say something kitty yeah he likes my paint too okay bye